Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a terribly tragic story to share with you that came out of Dallas, Texas. But before I get into it, I just came across a second story out of Lexington, South Carolina that's taking place as of the time of this video. So I will fill you in on the South Carolina story first in case you want to keep tabs on it as it progresses. As of 11.30 p.m. tonight, September 5th of 2020, Police in Lexington, South Carolina are dealing with a gunman barricaded in his home in the Manchester Park subdivision. Police say they were called to the location earlier today for a domestic situation between the man and his wife. His wife was able to escape the home and get to a neighbor's house where she called 911. After officers arrived, the gunman started shooting at the police and one officer was shot. He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries and he's expected to make a full recovery. The Lexington Sheriff's Department on scene says they are currently negotiating with the gunman and are limiting movement in the immediate area of the scene. The Sheriff's Department is tweeting out updates as the situation unfolds, with the last update being just an hour ago. So if you catch this video pretty quickly, the situation may still be active. Thank God his wife was able to escape and call for help. Police often say that domestic situations can be the most dangerous for them to deal with. Years ago, in a previous house I lived in, my children and I came home to police everywhere and my street barricaded off. They told us that we couldn't go home because there was a gunman barricaded in the house diagonally behind mine and he was holding his wife hostage. The homes on my street had been evacuated and the SWAT teams were in our backyards. Because my home had a second story and so did his, police asked if I would let SWAT use my home so they could see into his upper floor in the rear from mine and I said yes and gave them my keys. We waited for hours with no resolution, and we couldn't go home. He finally let his wife go and said he wanted to surrender. It was getting late, so police told us that he was coming out and we could go home. We got home and got settled in, but SWAT teams were still in our yards. You could hear police on a loudspeaker talking him out of the house, when all of a sudden I heard explosions, yelling, and gunshots. I guess he changed his mind at the last minute. I yelled at my kids and told them to get on the floor and I laid on top of them. It was absolutely terrifying. It sounded like they were shooting at my house. It ended quickly, but I never want to experience something like that again. I never found out what happened, but I never forgot it either. Now, to the story I want to share with you. It was also a domestic situation that took place in Dallas, Texas last Monday, August 31st. It is also a story about a gunman, only in this story, his wife wasn't lucky enough to make it out. According to news reports, James Manning shot and killed his wife and her two sons because he said he had a headache and they were making too much noise. Manning confessed to killing his family and told police that the whole thing started with an argument he had with his wife, Victoria, on Monday morning because they were being loud, so he pulled a gun and shot them all. Police say he called 911 an hour later and told police what he had done. Manning was initially identified as James Webb when he was arrested at the Rosemont Apartments where the crimes were committed, but during his court appearance it was determined that his actual name is James Manning. His victims were his wife, Victoria Bunton, and her two sons, 14-year-old Quan Bunton and 16-year-old Isaac Bunton. Both Victoria and her boys were described as very nice and polite, and the boys were said to have had close relationships with their teachers at school. Just to be clear, Manning is said to be the boy's stepfather. Family members of the victims say that there were never any signs of domestic abuse prior to the incident, but one family member described Manning as distant and isolated, not wanting anything to do with Victoria's family. Victoria's family has also said that they believe she died trying to save her sons from Manning. Victoria's sister, Barbara McGee, said the following, quote, There's no reason why anyone would want to harm her, because she was a good person. They were well-respected kids. She treated them good. She was there for her boys. She was there for her family, unquote. This is so tragic. I think people are losing their minds. Manning has been charged with capital murder and is being held on a $3 million bond. 
Please join me in remembering Victoria, Kwan, and Isaac, who did not deserve to lose their lives, and also for their loved ones who are suffering and trying to make sense of this madness. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the time you spend with me, and I'll see you on my next video.